Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Uh, thank you, Vito. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. This way. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message... for whom? I wish I knew. Give the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. <laughs> <laughs> 